Your plane flew very well. Why didn't my plane flew well? I don't know, Rahul. Let's ask Didi about it. Okay then, let's go. Didi, huh? my plane is not flying properly. Bhavya's plane flew at a great distance. Actually, Didi, he was not throwing the plane properly. Uh, your plane seems to be perfectly made. But I think you are not throwing at a proper angle. Didi, what is an angle? You don't know what is an angle? No, no Didi. Didi. Okay, I'll explain you angles today. But for that, I need few things. You go and collect some straight sticks from the lawn. And I'll also bring some things. And we'll meet in your room. Okay? okay yes, we will bring them soon. Okay. Chef, I don't know what will Didi do with these sticks. Yeah, I don't know that what she's going to tell us. Look, Didi. Didi we've got, got so many straight sticks. sticks. Good. Give it to me. I'll keep them aside and I'll tell you about the angles now. Are you ready? Yes, Didi. Great. See, this is torch and I'll switch it on. And now see, the light coming through is in the form of rays. Can you see the light coming through it is in the form of rays? Yes, Didi. Can you draw this picture on the paper? Yes, Didi. And also draw the sun with the rays coming out of it. Did he done? Done? Good. Yes, I Didi, also I also too? finished. Yes. Give it to me. Yes. See? These are the rays coming out of the sun. Okay. Okay. Here, these are the rays. Huh? Yes, Didi. A ray is a line with one end point. Okay. Huh? And when two rays are joined with the same end point, they form an angle here. Ah. Uh. Hmm? Okay. I'll show it here. This is a ray with one end point and when two rays are joined having same end point they form an angle. Okay. Ray is a line with one end point. When two rays have common end point an angle is formed. This is a V-shaped stick. Okay, I see that two sticks are making an angle. Right, this V-shape is making an angle. angle. Let me also try. Okay, try. Uh, Bhavya, you also take some. Join them properly. angles with sticks. Very good. We have made so many angles. Would you like to learn more about the angles now? Yes, yes Didi, of course. Okay. Now, we'll keep them aside. See. 
I'm drawing an angle. A, O and B. So, angle A, O, B. Where O A and O B are two rays and O is the common end point. The two rays O A, O B are the arms of the angle. Okay. With the O as the vertex of the angle. Yes, Didi. It means every angle has two arms and one vertex. Can you tell me, Bhavya, how many arms does an angle have? Didi, I think there are two arms in an angle. Good. And how many vertices? Uh, one. Very good, Rahul. Now, both of you draw an angle and show me the vertex and the arms of it. Didi, I'm done with it. In angle X, P, Y, P, X and P, Y are the two arms and P is the vertex. Very good. And Didi, in this angle, R, S, T, S, R and S, T are the two arms and S is the vertex. Very nice. Now that means you have learned what an angle how to make an angle and what are its arms and the vertex of an angle. Okay, now I will tell you one more new concept related to the angle. Okay. Huh? See, this scissor, the two hands are making an angle here. And as they go far from each other, the area between them increases. Now let me draw an angle A O B and shade the portion bordering O A where O B lies with blue color. Here, bordering OA, where OB lies, shading with the blue color. Similarly, we will shade the portion of the paper bordering OB, where OA lies. Portion having both the colors red and blue is the interior of the angle. Oh. Okay. Now here in angle A O B points M N P are the points lying in the interior of the angle. Okay. Okay? Yes, Didi. And S, Q, R, T are the points lying in the exterior of the angle. Okay. Okay? But Didi, where is the point O in the angle? Good question. Very good question, Bhavya. Um, Rahul, would you like to answer her question? Yes, Didi. The point O is neither in the interior nor in the exterior. So, it should be on the angle. Excellent. So, Bhavya, point O is on the angle A, O, B. Bhavya, you got the answer? Yes, Didi. It is on the angle. Okay. Okay. Now, I will show you 
this clock and now look at the dial it has two hands the short hand and the longer hand they both are at 12 now I will fix the longer hand and I'm moving the shorter hand till it comes back to 12 again the short hand has made one complete revolution thus the angle so generated by the shorter hand with the long hand is called the complete angle okay okay now rahul you tell me if i move this short hand only up to six what angle is formed uh didi the short hand has made half of a revolution huh? so it means the angle generated here is the straight angle okay okay now bhavya if i move the short hand only up to three what angle is formed didi the short hand has made quarter of a revolution this means the angle generated here is the right angle okay okay yes didi now rahul look at the screen and tell me what time is shown on the clock and what angle is formed by the two hands okay didi uh didi in the first clock the time shown is three o'clock and the angle formed is right angle in the second clock the time shown is six o'clock and the angle formed is a uh, straight angle and in the third clock the time shown is 12 o'clock and the angle formed is a uh, complete angle very good rahul now i will tell you some other kinds of angles here the clock shows two o'clock the short hand has moved less than the quarter of the revolution the angle formed here is the acute angle okay it means an acute angle is less than a right angle yes the acute angle is less than the right, right angle. angle now i'm bringing the shorter hand to four hmm? where the short hand has moved more than the quarter but less than the half thus the angle so formed here is known as the obtuse angle is known as the obtuse angle okay so the the obtuse angle is greater than the right angle and lesser than the straight angle yes an obtuse angle is greater than a right angle but less than the straight angle What angle is formed here? Acute or obtuse? Didi, an acute angle is formed. Is she right, Rahul? Mm, no, Didi, Bhavya is wrong. The angle formed is an obtuse angle because mm. it is smaller than the straight angle and greater than the right angle. Very good. Now, both of you look at the screen and tell me what angle is formed by these two hands in these clocks. Mm, we do not know no, didi. didi look here carefully the short hand has moved more than the half but less than the complete revolution this means the angle formed by the two hand is a reflex angle is a reflex, reflex angle. angle similarly when the short hand is at eight it is still forming a reflex angle because it has moved more than the half 
but less than the complete revolution. And Didi, if the short hand is on 9, 10 or 11, it is also forming a reflex angle. Very good Rahul. It is forming reflex angle. An angle greater than the straight angle and less than the complete angle is a reflex angle. Okay. Thank you, Didi. We've learned a lot about angle. Yes, Didi. But Didi, I wasn't able to understand why my plane did not go at a greater distance. Show me. Uh, if you throw your plane at an angle half of the right angle, it will go at the farthest distance. Now you go and try it out, Rahul. Yes, Didi. I'm going to try my plane with the help of angles. Bye. <laughs>